Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. We come to your homes and share wonderful uh, success stories and uh, perhaps realizations, adventures, and uh, basically to fulfill our mission. We are on air to empower, enrich, enlighten, educate, and entertain. Today we're going to do just that. I have uh, wonderful, lovely flowers, if I may call them. They are gorgeous in every way. And they make up all the beautiful colors of the rainbow, which is the theme of our show today. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, my guests. Uh, first to my immediate left is Trish, Kylie, and Jaira. Oh, ang galing si ate, no? Okay. So, we want to welcome uh, all of you here to Thank Tech Hawaii, part mm -hmm. of our empowerment. So let's start with Trish. Uh, tell us a little bit about your growing up. Um, I, grew, I grew up in Biko region, mm -hmm. Naga Kamarini Sur. Um, I was so fortunate that my family uh, is so accepting mm -hmm. when it came as a transgender. I actually transitioned with, I was like high school. Mm -hmm. This is the time that I have long hair, I wear makeup, and I wear heels. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. it's like, there is some um, discrimination, there is some bullying, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. As, as long as you have the support of your family, I think, and you, you like yourself, mm -hmm. that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So you didn't have uh, too much of a difficulty because you were comfortable. Yes, mm -hmm. especially it's because my family, my family is like, very accepting about it. That's really, really important, yes. Trish. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. Now we have Kylie. Hello. Welcome. Tell Thank us a little you. bit about you. So um, we grew up in the same Bridgen, which is Biko, and unfortunately, I don't have the same family support as her because mm -hmm. I grew up in a really religious family. Mm -hmm. And like when I was young, like my dad used to beat me up, and then I thought that it's just because that's how Filipino mm -hmm. parents um, want to, you know. That's how they like, discipline. Discipline right? their child. Mm -hmm. But like growing up, I feel like it's actually because they hate me because I didn't came out as what they expected me mm -hmm, to be. Mm -hmm. So although it was a very hard transition, I actually haven't transi transitioned yet. I still, um, I think I'm still a cross-dresser mm -hmm. because I haven't taken hormones and everything. But yeah, when actually in the Philippines, there's only bakla or, mm -hmm. or tomboy. But okay. it, when I came here in America, mm -hmm. I came here like around almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. This... When I came here, I like my eyes just opened to all there, that there's actually a lot of genders out there, mm -hmm. and that's when I started to figure out what I am. Although I'm not there yet, mm -hmm. I think I'm getting there. Okay, so yeah. uh, you are also comfortable. Figure, yeah. All yeah. right. Now we have Jaira. Hello. Jaira. Um, um, yes. Aside from uh, what Trish and Kylie has uh, shared. Uh, please tell us a little bit about you. Um, yeah, my name is Chara, and I'm from San Nicolas, Ilocos Norte. Oh, San Nicolas. Yeah, I'm Ilocana. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I started transitioning right after high school, mm -hmm. that's where I started taking hormones and stuff. My family was okay about it because mm -hmm. um, I have to do something to, like, to go to school every day, mm -hmm. to pass my exams every time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's just for us, for them to be happy, no matter what I am. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and right after first year of college, then that's where I moved here. Mm -hmm. And that's where mm -hmm. I um, continue taking, um, doing transitioning and taking like some hormones and mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. how, how was that like? Was it difficult? Uh, did you experience a lot of uh, changes in your body or any discomfort or um yeah. not really it's just like um like think emotion emotional mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I very agree. you're very emotional mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then i think yeah when we transition we feel more confident about ourselves yeah. like we mm -hmm. are not like afraid to, you know to go out and show what we really are mm -hmm. you know Although there's a lot of, you know, discrimination still happening mm -hmm. today, we kind of, you know, we really have, really need the courage to be 
actually, you know, stand up for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So do you think it's uh, more acceptable to be um, uh, transgender here in America or dyan sa bayan natin? I think it's more acceptable here. Yeah, mm -hmm. because um, work, um, walking mm -hmm. on the street, mm -hmm. going, buying stuff, mm -hmm. um, going anywhere, mm -hmm. you cannot hear anything about, yeah. about yeah. you, about mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. the, they are respecting you from mm -hmm. head to toe, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. But if you go, like, right two years ago, I went back to the Philippines mm -hmm. to, you know, to do to have, like, a week vacation. Mm -hmm. And then I was just at the mall, and people are, like, staring at you. Mm -hmm. People are, like, Call your names. wondering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they're just calling you, like, bakla or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But... Well, I mean, like, it's Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, we're still fighting for our equality there anyways. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Here is more, like, free. Um, you have your freedom to be what you mm -hmm. are. Like, everywhere I go for me, I mm -hmm. have the same equality mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. what women um, gets from the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Uh, l let me um, uh, ask you this question, Jara, because uh, you look like you have fully trans um, transitioned. Yes. Okay. So yeah. you, you have the boobs, even mm -hmm. bigger than Ate. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. And uh, you have the uh, uh, feminine features. Yeah. Feminine features. Um, for my face, I don't actually have any surgery. Mm -hmm. um, I only have my um, breast argumentation and my um, sexual um, trans. Something like it's SRS, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. assignment surgery. And um, for my face, I think I just You're you just, just have to you no um I just have to <laughs> take like hormones. You know, uh -huh. you have to take hormones. You have to take the beauty the regimen, uh -huh. like yeah. shots. Uh -huh. You have to take vitamins every day. You have to take. Um, Myra E as well, mm -hmm. or anything <laughs> like that, like vitamin E. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just for you to take care of yourself. Because right. if you want to change yourself completely, mm -hmm. you have to give all your best. Mm -hmm. You have to be obligated to, to do committed, it. Like, yeah. Yeah, committed into something that mm -hmm. you want to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, right. now that uh, you are transitioning, um, is there any regret? No. Yeah. No. So far, no. Like mm -hmm. uh, personally, I've been feeling good about coming out. Mm -hmm. Although you know, I'm not really supported. Like especially in America, coming out here is really, really nice. Because especially at school, mm -hmm. I go to women's restroom, and everyone is really open-minded, and they got nothing to say about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just wanted to tell people like, uh, as a transgender or transsexual. Mm -hmm. um it's not we have different the spectrum mm -hmm. it's not like we're just doing cross dressers that we're just born in the wrong body mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and on ourselves we feel like we are a woman mm -hmm. so that's why we do it to ourselves we do take hormones mm -hmm. we do have this um operations we do estrogens that's why for us to be feel comfortable with ourselves because mm -hmm. we were born inside and us is as a woman so mm -hmm. we need to be comfortable so we need to take those so we're just born in the wrong body mm. yeah okay but um other than that uh, any other difficulties that uh, you might want to mention at this time? how about facial facial hair or facial or body hair is that a problem for body hair i mm. think no, mm -hmm. <laughs> I never had a problem with my body hair actually, yeah, yeah. which is I'm so thankful. Uh -huh. um, I think Filipinos don't have any hair, yeah. yeah. I think <laughs> while you're taking the hormones, I think it helps uh -huh. to uh -huh. lessen it. Yeah, lessen it, yeah. and mm -hmm. yeah, with all your every every facial face, mm -hmm. like it's not yeah. growing anymore. While well, if you're taking mm -hmm. hormones, mm -hmm. as what your doctor um, instructs. Yeah. yeah so how about the voice? Because if if you know like. I couldn't tell. <laughs> you Thank know. you. Uh -huh. So do you go through that uh, modulation um, or change? So for me, since I'm not taking hormones yet, I think having like a female voice mm -hmm. is like I can do it. But when it when I do it for a long time, it gets a little bit strange. Yeah, you get, like mm -hmm. it gets a little bit difficult because, mm -hmm. you know, I have to maintain it. But sometimes I just feel like, oh, my God, am I using my voice again? Mm -hmm. So, you know, got to mind. 
sometimes like it gets off my mind mm -hmm. that I'm using it. Because mm -hmm. I guess for me, I got used to it doing this way. Mm -hmm. My voice, yeah. I you just adjust, it, it just, yeah? Yeah, I just adjust mm -hmm. to... Okay, the big question. Cordy, okay. you know, if someone meets you and uh, they uh, decide to fall in love with you and they have no clue, mm -hmm. um, how do you, how do you break, break it out to them? Me? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> you've had that uh, yeah, scenario, um, right? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like mostly at all the time. Anyways, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, if... I don't, we, we should, I'm, for me, like I tell them before going forward into anything, mm -hmm. like going on a date or something, mm -hmm. um, before they talk to me, I have to inform them who I am, you know, like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is me. If you want to continue talking or something, then let's do it. But if not, then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was nice meeting you. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's great to be honest from the start. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Tell the truth rather yeah, than hide. You need to tell mm -hmm. them up front, uh -huh. you know, at the very the very thing when you meet them is like tell them up front, uh -huh. you know, if they really some of them are like really like accepting but some are not. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you know, you need to accept. Oh that Thanks. is so awesome. Um what is what are your goals real quickly? Eventually, um like quit our body. Uh your body mm -hmm. and uh, do you general. ever wanna uh, raise children? Um I mean, I have the chance because I haven't, but I think it's a choice that they made from the very mm -hmm. first time they mm -hmm. start taking. Yeah. For well, me personally, I want to have a children. You have yeah. to have a like children. Like adopting. But I don't mind if it's adopting. Yeah, yeah maybe in the, in the near future, yes, mm -hmm. you can. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure kids, you have those yes. tendencies, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. to That's bother. actually my dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's my dream. Um, right now, I'm a mom of my three dogs. Okay. Which, is, which is, I feel like Practice. I'm really a mom, actually. Uh -huh. and, but, you know, looking forward into the future, then I really want mm -hmm. to have my own family. I want to raise a uh -huh. kid. I want to be a mom. Just be a yeah. normal. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I just want to be with someone else who will take care of me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when I get old mm -hmm. <laughs> and be with me and every time, you know. Okay. So um, do you dream of uh, helping someone uh, transition? Uh, Helping them to come out of the closet so that they have a they won't have the difficulties that you've had mm -hmm. as far as the struggles. Yeah, I guess this is this path, this uh, pageant or this platform really like can open up to people. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you just need to be accept, you need to accept first yourself, mm -hmm. and then one of our goals is to like gender equality, and yes. then. Because once they sh see us in the show, it's mm -hmm. like they're gonna, if, and they, they want to transition also, if they want to, like, oh, they, they've been thinking they want to do this, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, she can do it. And then, so I think I can too. And then this platform could really, like, like, like open up. Up, up, open up, yeah. Okay. Real quickly, I know Lauren's gonna ask um, a few other questions, the other contestants. Uh, mm -hmm. Give us uh, just quick details on Saturday's pageant, October. So the Miss Maharlika USA mm -hmm. pageant will be held in Hilton Hawaiian Village, Coral Ballroom. Mm -hmm. It will start at 5.30 p.m. October 12th. October 12th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. tickets are how much? Um, tickets um, is to $85 okay. per uh, person. Real quick, yeah. who they can call? can they call for tickets? Yeah. Um, can they call you? Yeah. They can yeah, call, they can call okay. us. They Let's can, give they can you... go to our website, okay. Miss Maharlika USA, mm -hmm. um, for the uh, pageant information, and then okay. they, could, they can contact us. Or they could come yeah. to they the can... door at uh, Hilton Hawaiian Village Car Ballroom um, on Saturday. That might not be possible because all the seated is counted and everything. So oh. individual um, candidate, they were given like tickets for uh -huh. us to sell, oh, okay. and they only have like this limit. Right. Seat. Mm -hmm. So, I know we sell out every year, yeah. so yeah. that's so popular. I'm going to be there with my oh, girlfriend. Yay. 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 Thank you. Hard to pick a winner because you're all beautiful. <laughs> and you. you complete the colors of the rainbow. The rainbow, yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we, that completes the first uh, phase of our uh, program for today. And it adds to our empowerment. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, bringing you unique st stories that helps to empower us. We will be back after the break. Aloha and welcome. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea program. 
Uh, every other Monday at one o'clock, I am here on deck with various guests talking about different topics of the world and the ocean and international law, different areas where we all have seen and want to travel to and learn about. Please join me for my next Law Across the Sea program. Aloha. You should watch Talking Tax with Tom. And this is Tom. This is Tom Yamanchiki, President of the Tax Foundation of Hawaii. And we meet every couple of weeks. We talk about tax, tax policy. What else do we talk about, Tom? Well, you asked me a whole bunch of hard questions. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what we do. We, we cover tax, fiscal policy, uh, economics, 101, 102. <laughs> We try to explore how the state works economically and in terms of fiscal policy and in terms of tax. And if you don't think that affects you, look again. Okay, Tom Yamachika and me, I'm Jay Fidel, talking tax with Tom every couple of weeks. Watch our calendar and you'll see us. Aloha. Aloha. Have a blessed day, everybody. I'm here, and we're back here with our team, Colors of the Rainbow. And I'm sitting on behalf of Ms. Amy Anderson Ortega here at Think Tech Hawaii and Pinoy Power Hawaii. And we'd like to welcome you back in our segment for the Colors of the Rainbow. And we have here three lovely ladies Hello. competing Hello. for Miss Maharlika USA 2019. And of course, can you please introduce yourselves? My name is Lexi Faye um, Escalante Tabamo from Cagayan de Oro City, candidate number six. Hi, my name is Glenn Fanatics, coming from Makati City, Metro Manila, candidate number five. And I am Maria Jaja Paraiso, your reigning Miss Maharlika USA 2018. Yes, and we all know that our team is Colors of the Rainbow, and it's very, very timely within this month because we're also celebrating the Pride oh, of uh, the Honolulu Pride Month, right? Mm -hmm. And that will be on October 19th. Yes. And uh, can you tell about Miss Maharlika USA and being a winner of 2018, Jaja, what have you learned about this pageant? Well, um, I have been joining a lot of pageants in the past since I was in the Philippines. Started joining pageants when I was 14. But this pageant is just so amazing. Um, I love the fact that um, the, organi um, or the organization will really like, um, push you to, your, um, to be at your best. Not just for yourself, but also for the people who can um, you know, benefit of it. Like, for example, when I won the pageant last year, um, they gave me the chance to um, support one of, um, you know, a charity or a beneficiary for a certain project that I want to do. And yeah, this year I'm going to be, no, it's going to be next year, March, that I will do it. So, yeah, yeah, and uh, we all know that Miss Marlika USA is a socially relevant uh, pageant because our advocacy is for each of the candidates to... Uh, share whatever want, they wanted to uh, have for their projects, and then the organization will help you guys, right? Mm -hmm. And as you were saying again, on March 2000... Yeah, I'm going to be flying to the Philippines to do uh, my project. 2020, right? It is. Yeah, and then you will be... What will you, what will you going to do on, on the Philippines? Um, so, for, um, I decided to support um, young trans people, uh, like oh. young trans kids. Mm -hmm. um, who's, you know, going on through a lot, like emotional um, depression, um, like uh, hard times in general. So we're going to be supporting them, like um, providing them support. And um, in terms yeah. of what? Like we're going to be holding like um, events, feeding programs uh, and like a lot of like seminars and stuff for them to be able to know more about who they are. Yeah. And uh, more about what trans is, That's what transitioning so nice of is. You, Jaja. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, of course, once again, this Hi. is Lexi Faye Tabamo, candidate Hi. number six. <laughs> what they can expect from you on the said night on October 12th? Well, um, it's actually my second time joining this um, mm -hmm. Maharlika pageant because I joined last 2017. Okay. And I was the first runner up, and then you encouraged me to, yes. to join again. <laughs> Because um, it, actually it was fun because I came out when I joined 
the mm -hmm. pageant last 2017. And I'm so lucky that I found your organization, Miss Marlika USA, because when I came here in Hawaii, I was a teenage boy with like a top cut and like a boyish look. <laughs> but when I found your organization, I was like, I feel like I belonged here. I feel like, you know, I'm so comfortable with people around me. That's the, and that's the time that I realized that I'm a transgender. I have to, I have to transition, you know. And I feel comfortable about my body right now, ever than before. So this year, um, I'm just gonna have fun because look at these wonderful ladies. Like, look, all my sisters already. So I'm just gonna yeah. have fun and give yeah. everyone a good show. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and of course, you would like them to uh, to be there again on when? Okay. Um, the pageant will be on October 12th at Hilton Hawaiian Village, the Coral Ballroom. And it's actually a free show. I yes. would just have to pay for the buffet, which is $85 for a ticket. And you can um, contact us for tickets and visit, visit the page um, Miss Marlika USA 2019 on Facebook. Yeah, and don't forget to mention that on your page, they can also click. Yeah, our yeah. photos. Yeah, yeah. we have <laughs> in our uh, Facebook page, Miss Marlika 2019, um, we have our photos um, posted for Miss Social Media. So you can vote for us, number six, number five. And for the rest of the ladies, you can like hit like or any reaction would count and share would be like two points. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, candidate number five, right? Glam. Yes. yes. Hi. Is this your first time to join such yes. a kind of beauty pageant? Yes. It's my first time to be out in the crowd and my first time to join this pageant ever. And what, uh, can you tell me about your experience, please? experience in, the enjoying the pageant right actually it helps me to build up my confidence um first of all i would like to thank you for um my family at hms host to put me in this um pageant and uh, thank you Lars, to um uh to help me decide to join this pageant this year it's supposed to be supposedly next year that i'm gonna join <laughs> <laughs> but um um, of sorry. course, and of then um, of course you would like also to invite your friends. Do you have any specific friends that you would like yes, to invite? Yes, um, I would like to invite my friends and family and relatives who lives at the west side of this island. Um, I would like to greet my auntie of a happy belated birthday first. Okay. Sorry to miss your birthday, and. Thank you for HMS host family. Sorry. Is it okay for me to ask a question? Sure. If, do you have boyfriends, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's totally okay. okay. Um, right now, single and ready to mingle. Okay. Because, yeah, I'm focusing on my job, Ooh. but if someone knocks the door, you He'll know. open the door. <laughs> <laughs> He's always welcome, you know. And how about you, Jaja? Yeah, I'm currently in a relationship. And how is it? Oh, it's amazing. Not much of a difference onto like a straight relationship. I mean, okay. love is love. It doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't question gender at all. Yes, because so. no matter who you are, right? Yeah. As long as there is love within our hearts. That's only matters, mm -hmm. right? Uh, aside from our pageant, okay, what they can, um, what will be the show all about, right? And in this year's competition, the the theme is "Who Runs the World," and it's a, a song of uh, Beyonce's that echoes the feminist. Yeah, the feminist. It's a feminist song that echoes the cry of our transgender woman mm -hmm. to be treated like a woman. Mm -hmm. And in your own opinion, what is your perception or meaning of who runs the world? Well, for me, anybody can run the world. I mean, we we are all created equal in the image and God is an image and likeness of God. So um, I feel like every every person has like a good core to their heart. But um, for me, 
I think it's everybody. It's us who runs the world. It takes care of the world. Just understanding and love and harmony. Yes, speaking of love, because for, I just wanted to reminisce that this show is a socially relevant show, right? Because mm -hmm. in 2016, in the inaugural of the show, Miss Maharlika USA 2016, our theme is One Love. And this is very timely because we, we would like to spread love to one another mm -hmm. after the tragedy, uh, the Orlando, Orlando tragedy shooting, yeah. shooting, right? In 2017, our, our message or the theme is My World, My Responsibility. Yeah. yeah. And then on 2018, what's it? 18? It's dreams do come true. Because? Yes. <laughs> it really is. I mean, yeah. Um, Growing up, you know, I was on the, um, I went to the stage train. I was so confused. I was yes. so confused. I feel like I started questioning myself. I knew at the very first that yeah. I'm special. I'm like a magical stone. But then I was like, is this right? Um, what do I have to do with it? So I always dream of like, okay, one day I'm going to be a princess. Although by the time I'm like a prince. Like, yes. <laughs> so what should I do? And then... You know, just believe in yourself. And yeah, the last year theme is really relevant. It's like dreams do come true. Yes, ladies. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, why don't we invite them once again on our show on October 12 at Hilton Hawaiian Village Coral Ballroom, ladies. Your message to our audience here right now. Hello, guys. Um, uh, come watch us on Hilton Hawaiian Village Coral Ballroom on October 12. At what time? It's 5.30. Yeah. And expect to um, witness a very amazing show because aside from the pageant, there's going to be a lot of special guests and the much-awaited dance showdown from your queens from 2016, 2017, and 2018. And yeah, just expect to see these beautiful ladies um, compete in different um, Spectacular, spectacular costume, costumes. swimwear, which is, oh God, yeah. I'm and so their, excited. And their evening gown. Evening gown, like question and answer. Most of the candidates have their own customized evening gown, right? Yeah. Yes, and then they design your gown. Everything, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you design your own dresses, yeah. right? Yeah. And of course, for today, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like again to thank Think Tank Hawaii, especially <laughs> Binoy Power Hawaii, with our main host of this event, Miss Emmy Anderson, or uh, yes, Miss Emmy Ortega Anderson, for letting us to be here. We we love you, Madam Emmy. I would like to see you again on our show on October, October 12th, 12th at Hilton Hawaiian Village, Village Coravaru. Mahalo, everybody, and God bless. Thank you so much, and see you once again.